This week on UND Insider Weekly, men's hockey snags its first series sweep of the season. Women's hockey travels to Clarkson in the battle of two top 10 teams. And women's basketball comes up just short against Minnesota. Head coach Travis Brewster is here in the coach's corner to discuss that game, plus their upcoming game against North Dakota State this weekend. Baseball is right in the middle of their offseason. This past week, they tested their offseason progress. All this week on UND Insider Week. Welcome to UND Insider Weekly alongside Tom Miller and Brad Schlossman from the Grand Forks Herald and Danny Lutzen from the Ralph Ingalls Set Arena. I'm Tim Hennessy. Ladies, gentlemen, welcome to the show. Thank you. Look at those two. <laughs> you got nothing. We're tired after a weekend with Hennessy and Kalamazoo. I saw you both in Kalamazoo, Western Michigan, a sweep for UND, and a, I think from start to finish, really, don't you think, Brad? They played uh, the way they have to play if they're going to be successful and win hockey. Yeah, games. that's exactly it. They're not going to blow out anyone. They're not going to uh, win by a large margin, or nothing's going to be really easy for them. But they uh, they got really good goaltending. They had pretty good special teams over the weekend and they really didn't make any big mistakes you know I, I know the first goal Western Michigan scored of the weekend on the faceoff play something they're not going to like but after that they really they played like you said exactly the way this team needs to play to win but see that was a rookie and he won't do that again yeah <laughs> he won't allow that one to happen yep. again and Tom he, what were your impressions I you know I thought uh, like Brad said they got really good goaltending Zane Gothberg put together two pretty good performances that uh, that pad set pad save he made on Saturday night uh, was pretty remarkable. I think everybody kind of jumped out of their seat on that one. I want to hear Hennessy's call on that. I, we had some uh, <laughs> remarks that you had a great call on that. Well, I just couldn't. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Because I thought, oh, it's tight. It, and it was a wide open area. It looked yeah. like it was wide open and his pad well, from just our comes view, swinging from the press out of it. And it didn't look like he could see where the puck was. I have no idea. So. I, but as Coach Haxtell says, he doesn't get beat low very often no. at all. And, yeah. But he was on his belly. Yeah. Now you lay on your stomach and try to kick your leg this way. Yeah. I don't think was... most legs go that way, do no, they, Danny? No, it's like a yoga move, <laughs> yeah, I think. So. Danny was listening every single word I said on the radio, I know, all I weekend was. long. So what were you, what do you think of a sweep like that, particularly getting, I think a, a big part of it was getting some offense from the defense? I think at this point in the season, it's good to see them be consistent throughout the boards. And they have a lot more confidence in the way that they played this past weekend. So hopefully that will come in to this weekend's play. Northern Michigan is nothing to, uh, to sneeze at. Nobody's anything to sneeze at as far as UND goes. And the Wildcats were at one time a, a big rival of North Dakota in the, in the, uh, back when they were in the WCHA, or we both were in the WCHA. They are again, I guess. So it, it, this will be an interesting weekend as well, don't you think, Brad? And now their uh, non-conference schedule is winding down. I believe they only have four non-conference games left. They're 500 non-conference plays, so time's kind of running out here for them to build a nice non-conference record for the pairwise stuff at the end of the year. And uh, So this weekend will be really big for that. The women's hockey team traveled to lovely Potsdam, New York, to take on Clarkson in a two-game series, came up with a split in that one. Um, I guess against a highly ranked Clarkson team, a split of the weekend series, not too bad, huh? I don't think it uh, eliminates them from making the NCAA tournament. These games are, the weight that they carry is incredible. So um, a split won't uh, prevent them from making it. I think it will make it very difficult for them to get a top four seed now. But as long as they take care of business, I, I think they'll be all right. So that, that first win was really big for them to get. They played without Michelle Carbonin, their best player. So that uh, doesn't help things very much either. What do you think they need to do this coming season, um, series to prevent all the penalties that they've been that they had last series. Well, I, I mean, I think they need to uh, play with some uh, officiating they're more used to. I think that was probably an issue going out there and playing with some uh, different officials. There were some comments I heard uh, from out there that weren't particularly complimentary about the job <laughs> they did. And, um, you know, I, I think they missed a high stick on Clarkson's first goal on uh, Saturday afternoon and whatnot. But, you know, just when you play with the same officials all year, you kind of have a more of an idea of what they're going to do. And sometimes you go to a different conference and you really have no clue. Well, their penalty taking is, uh, is something of concern, isn't it? It has been, I guess, for many years. Yeah. Yeah. Without the Lammers, though, you thought yeah. that maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe some of those penalties would go down, some of that physical play would be taken away. But. Maybe that's still their, the their go-to is 
champion physical team to play against. Eric Fabian's penalty kill unit gets plenty of work. <laughs> yeah, well, somebody's got to teach them how to do that. The women's basketball team hadn't played Minnesota in 28 years, and I think they played them in Moorhead. They played them again at Williams Arena in Minneapolis on Sunday, Danny, and uh, had a lead in that one. Uh, in fact, they had a sizable lead in the second half of that one, early in the second half, albeit. Uh, a tough one to lose for him in that situation would have been a huge one to win. Huh? And at that point in the game, playing not to win, but as to playing to get your, you know, not to lose. Yeah, not to lose. And that, you know, you don't get to play the real game of basketball at that point. And I think that's what, what got him stuck. They had that lead and got confident and sat back too much and let it slip away. We should have Tom Miller explain playing to win and playing not to lose, the difference in the two. And there is a difference. You, you, can, you can find yourself staring at the clock, just yeah. like in any sport. You know, I, they had a 13-point lead at half, and I think they, they did start looking at the scoreboard saying, you know, oh, that's down to eight, it's down to five. You know, I only have three buckets in the, in the second half. Uh, it isn't going to beat a Big Ten team. Um, but they did. They were playing without their second leading scorer. Uh, Megan Lauk was out with an injury. Um, they need somebody to help uh, Maddie Buck score. Uh, she can't be the only one dropping in points. Does it say anything that they allowed Minnesota on their home court with only 46 points? Certainly. I, I think uh, they had to have played pretty pretty good defense and rebounded the basketball because uh, the Gophers were without their leading scorer, but a, a Big Ten school should be able to uh, handle that kind of dip from a scoring perspective. The tough part is this probably would have been a, a really big signature win for them, right. and that, that would have been uh, nice for the program to get. But They've had almost two of them. Northern Iowa, they were very close uh, yep. in that one, very close in this one. So that brings up Danny North Dakota State, who I know Travis Brewster is uh, looking forward to that game if he remembers. This is a player, I mean, North Dakota player, brings so much pride because you played against these girls like even in high school and growing up. So this game is going to come down to pride and bragging rights, I guess you could say. There like any under NDS NDSU game. But. How big of an advantage is it to play them here at the Betty? I think we have, I mean, you saw the NDSU game against, I mean, with men's basketball and the people and the support that you had throughout the community. It's, it's the type of game that, you know, your teachers ask about and your classmates ask about. So the buildup is pretty awesome. Break it down, Tom. Yeah, uh, well, I think uh, UND is going to need, uh, need to get healthy again uh, because I just don't see where they're going to get scoring outside of Maddie Buck right now. Um, uh, Maya Lloyd got like 13 rebounds against the Gophers, but she was like two of 14 from the field. So she's a candidate who could step up and uh, help Maddie Buck out there. All right, all right, coming up, Coach Brewster is gonna talk about the big rivalry game against NDSU. He'll have the exercise. And the start of the conference play later on this month as well. The great thing about snowboarding is the adventure. All day long, you're finding different ways of doing different things and it's never the same. I don't mind snowboarding alone, but if you've got your friends up there on the mountain and you guys can all cruise down together, it's a really, really fun time. Snowboarding has been really fun and really rewarding for me, and I want it to be fun and rewarding for my customers as well. I'm Lindsay McKinstry, and I'm one of the snowboard experts at Shields. Right now at Burger King, choose any two sandwiches for just five bucks. Whether you're craving a Whopper sandwich and an original chicken sandwich, an original chicken sandwich and a premium Alaskan fish sandwich, or a Whopper and another Whopper. Come in today and get any two for just five bucks. Only at Burger King, where taste is king. For the first time in 10 years, NDSU heads north to Grand Forks to take on UND. It's the first women's basketball matchup between in-state rivals in Grand Forks in the Division I era. See it Saturday, December 14th at the Betty Engelstead Sioux Center. Get your tickets at the Ralph Engelstead Arena box office or online at undsports.com. For 50 years, the Big Sky Conference has been showing the world who we are and how we play. 50 years of authenticity, hard work, community and 50 years of playing to win but remembering that our mission is bigger than winning we're the big sky the heart of division one the heart of the american west hi join me tim hennessy along with danny Letson, as we count down the top plays of the fall as chosen by you the fans relive the great moments and plays from the last five months Cast your vote today by visiting undsports.com and continue the conversation online by using the hashtag InsiderWeekly. 
Catch the episode on New Year's Day at 8 p.m. on UNDSports.com, then Friday, January 3rd at 5.30 on Midco Sports Network. You're different today than yesterday. Yet, you're still a college hockey fan. Proud of national titles. Riveted with stories about the early days. Proud of the school's first big stage appearance. Excited knowing you compete among the game's elite. And recalling the recent reign over college hockey's best. The puck has dropped, and the NCHC has arrived. It's time. Get in the game. Right now at Burger King, choose any two sandwiches for just five bucks. Whether you're craving a Whopper sandwich and an original chicken sandwich, an original chicken sandwich and a premium Alaskan fish sandwich, or a Whopper and another Whopper, come in today and get any two for just five bucks. Only at Burger King, where taste is king. UND Insider Weekly is sponsored by Shields, Gear, Passion, Sports. By Burger King, where taste is king and by the ground round. Tickets are still available for this weekend's contest as women's basketball takes on North Dakota State for the first time inside of the Betty Engelstead Sioux Center. Action starts this Saturday at 2. You can get tickets at the Rolf Engelstead box office or online at undsports.com. Well, the man in charge of the North Dakota team, Travis Brewster, the head coach, is here in the coach's corner. Coach, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Busy yeah. week, I know that. Appreciate you having me. Yeah, we're uh, we're getting ready. Getting ready. You got ready against Minnesota the other day and uh, had a pretty good contest with the Gophers at uh, Storied Williams Arena. That was okay. You know, we got to finish a ball game out. You know, we've had two games like that where we've gotten leads and just couldn't finish it out. You know, we had three field goals in the second half. You know, Maddie Buck hit all three of them and. You know what? We gotta we gotta produce. Do you think uh, was there anything? Were the gals ready for that to be that close to Minnesota to be in that game and maybe didn't react the way you might have wanted to in that situation? Well, we prepare all games, you know, for success. Um, I think one of the things they were probably a little bit surprised about was going in with the lead of 16 or 15. I think it was at half there, and uh, I think the issue was more so of playing not to lose instead of playing to win. You know, and that's uh, that's normal with young people. And one of the things we got to work on as a team is finishing ball games. And, and you know, I thought we executed very well in the first half. Second half, we got a little bit taken out of our game. They're playing us a little physical, and we didn't handle that well. Um, I think at the same time, you know what? Uh, you can tell we're a different team from last year. Did you give it the T.O. at any point and say, whoa, whoa, whoa? Uh, we took a couple <laughs> timeouts, worked on some stuff. And, you know, it's, it's just sometimes it happens, though. You got a, you got a younger team. Uh, you know, we're, we're experienced at the top end, but our, our, our younger kids haven't had a lot of experience on the floor, so those are some big games from the play in. Coming back to uh, your home now, pretty big game. What are your thoughts on having North Dakota State up here finally? Finally. I like that. <laughs> finally. Uh, you know, with uh, North Dakota State coming in, uh, I, I think it's a good opportunity for the community. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity for the state. I think also, if you look at it for our players, they're really excited about this. Um, last year we went down, you know, at this time last year when we played them, we, we were 0-4. You know, and now it's an opportunity to, you know, try to get become 4-3. and three. Can we talk at all about comparative scores? I know you took Northern Iowa to the edge at uh, Northern yeah. Iowa, and I think they went to Fargo and beat North Dakota State. Do we draw anything out of that? Or? Uh, I, I think you see some similarities. We're a little bit different team. Uh, we're a little bit bigger. Um, I think we play a different type of style of basketball. Uh, you, you do look at it and try to see what you can draw on to, to gain an advantage. They're doing the same thing, vice versa. Um, I, I think right now, though, it's about us and how we, we got to get ourselves right mentally and physically at this time. I know, I know you guys didn't have Megan Lauk for the, the Gopher game. What's her status for the, the Bison game? You know, uh, she's got to get healthy right now. We're, we're waiting to get the final prognosis, but uh, you know what? Uh, we just want her to get healthy. That's the biggest thing. Yeah, don't expect her to see her, though, against NDSU. How important is it having actually North Dakota girls playing against North Dakota girls? You have Maddie Buck from Century. Are you and North then, Dakota girl? Yeah, North Dakota girl. <laughs> and then Holly Johnson on NDSU side from Mina High. Uh, it's, uh, it's very important. You know, uh, that's how we recruit. We recruit North Dakota first, and then we expand out. Um, you know, I think with Maddie Buck and Holly Johnson playing against each other, Siri Burick, Emily Evers, 
you know, Ripplinger. I mean, it, it, it's one of those unique things. I think it's exciting for the community to, to see North Dakota players on the floor. Uh, we have a lot of pride about that here at the University of North Dakota. That's something we've always had, something we will always continue to do. And I think Maddie, uh, you know, she epitomizes, you know, North Dakota basketball. She's fiery. She works hard. Um, and I, not, nothing against our other players either, but I think, you know, right now Maddie's that person right there for us. It's an anchor. Obviously, the, the girls saw the crowd for the men's game and all that, uh, how that transpired. Uh, they saw what went on in the volleyball game, how that transpired. Are, they getting, uh, are you afraid of them being a little too high for this one? No, it's a, it's a rivalry game. Uh, it's one of those things, too, when you look at it, uh, you want your fans to be involved and you want your players to feed off of that. But we've talked about you know, having a little bit of discipline while you're out there playing. We can't just go out there and check it up and run around like we're playing rec ball. You know, we, we got to play. <laughs> Um, you know they're a better basketball team, and you know what? Uh, at the same time, so are we. So it's going to be it's going to be a great game. You know, it's going to be great for the fans. I think it's going to be really fun. Rec ball can be fun to watch, though. Yeah. Yep. Especially, <laughs> especially when you're entertain playing. Entertain the masses, Travis. Entertain the masses. That's right. That's Coach right. Travis Brewster, thanks. Best of luck in that one. Yep. Thank you. Thanks, Best everybody. Good luck. Yep. Well, still to come, baseball has reached the halfway point of their off season, and they ended in a very intense fashion. King, choose any two sandwiches for just five bucks. Whether you're craving a Whopper sandwich and an original chicken sandwich, an original chicken sandwich and a premium Alaskan fish sandwich, or a Whopper and another Whopper, come in today and get any two for just five bucks. Only at Burger King, where taste is king. For the first time in 10 years, NDSU heads north to Grand Forks to take on UND. It's the first women's basketball matchup between in-state rivals in Grand Forks in the Division I era. See it Saturday, December 14th at the Betty Engelstead Sioux Center. Get your tickets at the Ralph Engelstead Arena box office or online at undsports.com. Hi, join me, Tim Hennessy, along with Danny Letson as we count down the top plays of the fall as chosen by you, the fans. Relive the great moments and plays from the last five months. Cast your vote today by visiting undsports.com and continue the conversation online by using the hashtag Insider Weekly. Catch the episode on New Year's Day at 8 p.m. on undsports.com, then Friday, January 3rd at 5.30 on Midco Sports Network. Right now at Burger King, choose any two sandwiches for just five bucks. Whether you're craving a Whopper sandwich and an original chicken sandwich, an original chicken sandwich and a premium Alaskan fish sandwich, or a Whopper and another Whopper, come in today and get any two for just five bucks. Only at Burger King, where taste is king. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Over the years, you've had a chance to meet some of our highly skilled experts. Merry Christmas. And while it takes years to become a Shields expert in the outdoors or sports or fashion. Merry Christmas. During the holiday season, we're all experts. Merry Christmas. At spreading Christmas cheer. Merry Christmas. So from our family to yours, Merry Christmas. The fall finale of Through These Doors premieres this Thursday. Get your dose of behind the scenes with exclusive interviews and more as the team prepares for the end of the semester and the holiday season. The fall finale premieres Thursday at 9 p.m. on UND Insider and Friday at 6.30 on Midco Sports Network. Also, voting now open for the UND Insider Weekly Top 10 Plays of the Fall Special. Vote your opinion for the play that you think deserves to be number one. Visit UNDSports.com to cast your vote, and you can also tweet your opinion at UNDSports using the hashtag InsiderWeekly. The special airs New Year's Day at 8 p.m. on UNDSports.com, then Friday, January 3rd at 5.30 on Midco Sports Network. Baseball's offseason stretches eight months. With the start of their season only a little over two months away, the team had a chance to put their training so far this offseason to the test. Over the past week, uh, we had the 2013 Championship Challenge, and, uh, and it's pretty much when we divide our team into two teams, and they compete in all sorts of different strength events. Um, you know, the, 
guys have been working extremely hard, uh, you know, strength and conditioning wise pretty much the entire fall. We've seen a lot of personal records. We've seen guys really bump up in weight, get a lot stronger. And, uh, and this is just kind of like the culmination of everything, just to see them compete a little bit and uh, honestly see what they do under 10 circumstances. Um, because, you know, baseball is just a sports where you're literally playing 50 plus games a year. Um, it takes, you know, obviously physical strength, but still at the same time, mental strength as well. And, uh, and that's what our guys really show these past four days, who is strongest physically and also who is the strongest mentally. It's been intense, uh, good competition all the way around. The regular days, not including the uh, eliminator days, which was today, the uh, black team uh, seemed to have the upper edge. We uh, led with two points, which means we got a 30-second head start in the eliminator, and we just uh, didn't really get it done, but it was, it was a pretty good effort on both squads. Well, any time that you're playing, you know, 56-plus games a year, um, and you're going on long road trips, you're going on road trips, you know, two, three weeks at a time, you're going cross-country, you're spending a lot of time together. And, you know, with our guys, that they've done a great job as far as team bonding already. Um, I think that this group is very, very close. They've been very close for a, for a really long time now. Because, you know, when you have such a long schedule and, you know, you're playing a very difficult schedule, um, that's when you really see how close your team truly is. And I think that this group is definitely a special group, and they're continuing to get closer and closer every single day. Oh, the hardest. Um, prowlers are definitely tough. I know our guys uh, don't exactly enjoy prowlers the most but you know but that's really when you see guys that really dig deep uh it's definitely the prowlers uh, it's a weighted sled it's got 90 pounds on it and you're pushing on the ground it's uh it was four le five lengths in the uh the days before this and four lengths today and it was it's it's heavy it's slow it's hard to push and everything hurts not just your legs your, it's your whole body is just aching after that's by the toughest <laughs> points lead up to a, a head start in the uh, eliminator. Uh, my team was down two points, which was 30 seconds today for the uh, elimination challenge. The past two years, actually, the team that has been at a disadvantage going into the eliminator has actually ended up winning. Um, so that, that, that kind of just shows our competitive spirit, how, you know, in a baseball game, you, you play nine innings, you play 27 outs, and, then, and until that last out is uh, recorded, you always have a chance. And that's something that we constantly preach to our guys is just give us an opportunity to win at the end of the ball game and we're gonna win more more times than we lose. And that's something that they did today and that's something that they continue to do because, you know, I mean, when their backs are up against the wall, they push through and, uh, and, and most of the time they're successful. After the break, these fine panelists will let us in on what they're looking forward to for the final time in 2013. That's all next on UND Insider Weekly. UND Insider Weekly is sponsored by Shields, Gear, Passion, Sports. By Burger King, where taste is king. And by The Ground Round. There's still time to be a North Dakota Junior Champion, the official kids club of UND Athletics. For just $25, kids 8th grade and younger get all this, the official North Dakota Junior Champions t-shirt and lanyard, free admission to one men's hockey game and all women's hockey games for the rest of the season. You also get free admission to every men's and women's home basketball game and exclusive Junior Champions events. Sign up today at Shields and Grand Forks or online at undsports.com and be a North Dakota Junior Champion. Tim Hennessy, along with Danny Letson as we count down the top plays of the fall as chosen by you, the fans. Relive the great moments and plays from the last five months. 
cast your vote today by visiting undsports.com and continue the conversation online by using the hashtag Insider Weekly. Catch the episode on New Year's Day at 8 p.m. on undsports.com, then Friday, January 3rd at 5.30 on Midco Sports Network. For the first time in 10 years, NDSU heads north to Grand Forks to take on UND. It's the first women's basketball matchup between in-state rivals in Grand Forks in the Division I era. See it Saturday, December 14th at the Betty Engelstead Sioux Center. Get your tickets at the Ralph Engelstead Arena box office or online at undsports.com. For 25 years, the Big Sky Conference has been showcasing women's athletics. 25 years of authenticity, hard work, community, and 25 years of plan to win. For the first time since 2007, it's going. But remembering that our vision is bigger than winning. We're the Big Sky, the heart of Division I, the heart of the American West. Welcome back. This is our last episode of the year. If these great minds have no fear, though, we will return in early January. And for one final time in 2013, what are you guys and gals looking forward to? I'm looking forward to next week getting the Lamoureux girls back here for the USA Women's National Team versus Canada on Friday. Very well. Could be a preview of the gold medal game in the Olympics. I'm excited to have them back, and I know everyone at the Ralph is as well. Tickets available, Danny? Tickets available <laughs> at the Ralph Ingolstadt Ticket Office. So go get them. Brad? I'm looking forward to uh, this weekend series against Northern Michigan for the men's hockey team. See if uh, Zane Gothberg can keep up what he's been doing. We all knew he had it in him. Consistency was the issue, and he's put together three really good games in a row now. Don? I'd say basketball, UND, North Dakota State uh, this weekend. Uh, UND's on a pretty decent stretch against the Bison. Men's team won by 18. See if the women can follow suit. I think that's a good one on Saturday against North Dakota State, the basketball team. I'm looking forward to see who comes out as a football coach at UND. We nice. may know that yeah. before yeah. Uh, the next time we have uh, next time we have a program. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll even have a volleyball coach. But that that uh, is, uh, and there are a lot of in the coaches' are curious corner about that. Yeah. And then we'll put them right in the coaches' corner. You're yeah. absolutely right. Thanks, Tom, Brad, Dan. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. Don't forget to cast your votes for the top plays of the fall. Visit UNDSports.com to vote and catch the special UND Insider Weekly Top Plays of the Fall, which will air on New Year's Day at 8 p.m. on UNDSports.com. Then again on Friday, January 3rd at 5.30 p.m. on Midco Sports Network. Until then, on behalf of our entire crew and this great panel, have a great holiday season and we'll see you back here in 2014.